In 48 hours, WWE takes over Scotia Bank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. But tonight, we are here at the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas, for your final Friday Night SmackDown before this Sunday's Royal Rumble. And coming up tonight, it is a double main event here on SmackDown. First, the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship this Sunday, the franchise, John Cena, set to go one-on-one -on -one with Happy Baron Corbin. Can Cena pick up the victory on the road to the Royal Rumble? And in your main event tonight, it is a epic triple threat United States Championship match. The almighty Bobby Lashley defends the gold for the first time since winning it on Saturday night's main event versus Finn Balor and Shinsuke Nakamura tonight on SmackDown. And we kick things off tonight in Dallas with a man who is full steam ahead towards the Royal Rumble, the Cruiserweight Champion, the one, the only, Ricochet. In 48 hours, Ricochet heads to Toronto to defend the gold against the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio. But tonight, a little warm-up match for the Cruiserweight Champion of the World. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 190 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ricochet! Ricochet has been atop the Cruiserweight division since June 26, 2022. SummerSlam, where he defeated Santos Escobar for the gold. Since then, he has retained the title against Legado Del Fantasma's Santos Escobar, against Isaiah Swerve Scott, Chad Gable, Wesley, Roderick Strong, Tyler Bate. Ricochet's Cruiserweight Championship reign has been won for the history books. But with Rey Mysterio ahead this Sunday, is the master of the 619 going to be the man to dethrone the one and only? That's this Sunday night at the Royal Rumble, but tonight Ricochet goes one-on-one -on -one with another former Cruiserweight Champion, Akira Tozawa. And his opponent from Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Tozawa. It is this Sunday night live premiere at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the one and only versus the master of the 619. For the first time ever in WWE one-on-one, -on -one, Ricochet versus Rey Mysterio for the Cruiserweight Championship. And I got a feeling this is gonna be one to remember this Sunday night. But here we go, we're kicking off Friday Night SmackDown and what is gonna feature a double main event here tonight in Dallas. Ricochet meets Akira Tozawa to kick us off just 48 hours before the Royal Rumble. I want to thank you for joining us tonight, and as we mentioned, still to come, Happy Corbin set to go one-on-one -on -one with the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, John Cena. Plus, in your main event, Bobby Lashley defends the United States Championship for the first time since winning it back on December the 21st at Saturday night's main event. It is a triple threat matchup against two men who have been at each other's throats for months. The Prince Finn Balor and the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Those two men meet Bobby Lashley, triple threat matchup for the United States Championship later tonight on SmackDown. Let's focus on the action inside of the ring right now. Akira Tozawa back in action on Friday night as a former Cruiserweight Champion in his own right. As a member of the Cruiserweight Classic back in 2016, Tozawa's got all the tools to be a Cruiserweight Champion yet again here in the WWE. A win here against Ricochet tonight could absolutely put Tozawa in line for after the Royal Rumble. Ricochet's been a hard guy to get the best of though. Over the last six months, he's been atop the cruiserweight division, even in non-championship matches, excuse me. He's gotten his hand raised more times than not. Here to Zawa, let's see if he can have Ricochet's number tonight. But regardless of who wins, loses, or draws in this matchup, Rey Mysterio is awaiting the man in the purple this Sunday night in Toronto. Zawa taking the fight to Ricochet right now. Missile drop kick a few moments ago, follows up with the suplex. I was the Cruiserweight Champion back in 2017. Would love to get another reign with that gold. And Ricochet trying to make sure his momentum is 110% heading into possibly the biggest matchup of his WWE career this Sunday night against the future Hall of Famer, Rey Mysterio. 
Championship that Ray has held many times throughout his career. Looking to do it again this Sunday night, 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Quite possibly our biggest live premiere to date, the Royal Rumble. Ricochet and Rey Mysterio, they've met outside of WWE in the past. But tonight, excuse me, I should say this Sunday night at the Royal Rumble, they will meet for the first time on American soil in World Wrestling Entertainment. Ricochet takes out Tozawa. Into the corner, a nice cannonball there by the Cruiserweight Champion. And now Ricochet, springboard, moonsault. Nobody can do it like the human highlight reel himself. Ricochet taking the fight to Sazawa right now. It's all about building momentum for the Cruiserweight Champion tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Sazawa trying to make sure it doesn't happen on his behalf. Nice super kick there. It's got Ricochet all kinds of tied up. German almost had the bridge there, but decides to let go. Damage certainly done on the Cruiserweight Champion. Tozawa isn't done, though. Unleashing some punishment and a nice shining wizard. And that may be all she wrote. Tozawa going to pick up the upset here over the Cruiserweight Champion, not just yet. Tozawa looking to make a name for himself all over again here on Friday Night SmackDown tonight. Ricochet trying to make sure that nothing derails his momentum heading into the Rumble. Went for the pump kick, Tozawa dodges it. Tozawa at full steam ahead right now. Ricochet lands on his feet, and Ricochet takes him out with a clothesline. The Cruiserweight champion is now trying to battle back here. Both men throwing drop kicks at each other. Both had the same idea, it didn't work out. Ricochet now goes behind, pop up. Pele kick by the champion. Ricochet's got so many tools in his arsenal. He can beat you from anywhere, up high, down low. He knows how to get it done. That's why he's been the Cruiserweight Champion for damn near six months. Ricochet takes out Tozawa again. Up drops the elbow on the back of Tozawa. Ricochet's not all flash inside of that ring. He takes it to the sky more often than, more often than not, excuse us. But he does got a couple of other tools in his belt, such as that Death Valley driver right there by the champion. And Mysterio, I'm sure, has got his eyes locked on this matchup. Ray has been on a roll for weeks here on SmackDown. Victories over Chad Gable, Roderick Strong, The Miz, Shelton Benjamin. Ray's been raking up victories over the last couple of months, but will he be able to dethrone the Cruiserweight Champion this Sunday night? That is the question. That is where the wins matter the most. When the title's on the line, and Ricochet showcasing his attributes here, corkscrew to the outside. Ricochet is pedal to the metal in your opening matchup in Dallas tonight. Goes over the top rope, but Tozawa a little out of position. Ricochet luckily able to land like a cat on his feet on the outside of the ring and sends Tozawa into the announce table. Ricochet's got to be careful. He takes it to the uh, takes it to the to the sky. Excuse us. More often than not, but with a cruiserweight championship matchup just 48 hours away. Got to make sure he's not risking injury in a matchup like this. And Tozawa again ties up Ricochet and drops him on the back of the neck. Goes for the drop kick and Tozawa's got it scouted. Ricochet pops up. And lays out Akira Tozawa. See what the Cruiserweight Champion's got to throw to his opponent tonight. Again, he's got to make sure he's not throwing too much caution into the wind. Does not want to risk injury out of the matchup with Rey Mysterio this Sunday. Nice drop kick sends Tozawa to the corner. Follows it up with the shooting star press. Nobody can do it like the Cruiserweight Champion, who now heads to the top rope. 6.30 by the Champion. And if he hits that on Sunday night, it's going to spell the end for Rey Mysterio. What a win for Ricochet here on Friday Night SmackDown. I cannot wait to get to this Sunday night at the Royal Rumble. Ricochet picks up a victory over Akira Tozawa tonight here on SmackDown. Here is your winner. He has been unstoppable for six months here in the WWE as the Cruiserweight Champion. But has he met his match in Rey Mysterio? Find out this Sunday at the Royal Rumble. We are back live here in Dallas with the gold standard of Friday Night SmackDown. Shelton Benjamin set for action in the blue brand ring. Last time we saw Shelton was in a loss versus Rey Mysterio. Let's see if the gold standard can bounce back tonight. Just 48 hours from the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. 
A win for Benjamin tonight could absolutely put him in line to achieve one of those 15 spots that will represent SmackDown in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. But the man on the opposite end looking to do the same. The show-off, Dolph Ziggler, back in action on SmackDown tonight. Got his hands full with Shelton Benjamin. Who's going to pick up the win in Dallas? And his opponent from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. Well, Dolph Ziggler's had a few championship opportunities over the last few months, and unfortunately, they've all slipped through the show off's fingers. Remember back at Survivor Series, prior to the WWE draft, Dolph Ziggler took on then Intercontinental Champion Tommaso Ciampa. He came up short at Survivor Series. He had an opportunity to qualify for the World Championship matchup at the All-Star kickoff. Ziggler came up short. Dolph was a member of the eight-man battle royal to crown the United States Champion a couple of weeks ago as well at the All-Star kickoff, and unfortunately, Dolph came up short. Dolph Ziggler's got a lot of bad luck in his way over the last number of weeks. Can he turn some of that luck into good tonight? And will he build some momentum towards the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup that remains to be seen as SmackDown from Dallas rolls on 48 hours away from our next pay-per-view. Shelton Benjamin taking the fight to the show off right off the opening bell. Benjamin's trying to bounce back and get his bad luck turned around as well tonight. Yeah. Still to come tonight on Friday Night SmackDown is a triple threat main event. The Prince Finn Balor, the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, and the almighty Bobby Lashley. It is a triple threat matchup, one fall to a finish, and the United States Championship is on the line. What a main event that is going to be here on Friday Night SmackDown. All three of those men that will participate in tonight's main event will be in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup this Sunday night for an opportunity to be in the main event of WrestleMania. Both Dolph Ziggler and Shelton Benjamin right now is trying to state their case to earn uh, one of the 15 spots that will represent SmackDown as well in the Royal Rumble matchup. And Dolph Ziggler is unloading on Shelton in the corner. Dolph into the cover. Did he pick up the victory tonight in Dallas? Not just yet. Remember, Dolph Ziggler went one-on-one -on -one with the current world champion, Seth Rollins, in that world championship qualifier back on Friday Night SmackDown in the beginning of December. Seth Rollins, of course, won that matchup, and it was after the matchup that Rollins laid out Dolph, a post-match attack, and I'm sure it's been weighing on the mind of Dolph Ziggler ever since. Win, lose, or draw tonight, the Royal Rumble, no matter the case, I'm sure Dolph in the back of his head is going to be keeping his eye on the, the matchup between John Cena and Seth Rollins at the Royal Rumble for the World Heavyweight Championship. I'm sure Dolph would love to get his hands on Seth Rollins yet again. Entering looking Ziggler off. Ziggler able to block it. Nice counter by Dolph and Ziggler with the show off out of nowhere. Super kick to the head of Benjamin. And Ziggler's rolling towards the Rumble. A big time victory to bounce back for Ziggler tonight. One step closer to possibly getting another championship opportunity in the near future. Caught Benjamin off guard, that whip. Counter, super kick right there, and Ziggler finds himself in the winning seat here tonight. Here is your winner, Dolph Ziggler. Well, let's see if Dolph Ziggler can continue some of that good luck. I am getting word officially that Ziggler has been named one of 15 SmackDown superstars to enter the Royal Rumble this Sunday. Could the show off punch his ticket to WrestleMania? Find out this Sunday at the Rumble. The action continues tonight on Friday Night SmackDown with the glorious Robert Roode taking on Rick Boogs plus Mustafa Ali one-on-one -on -one with Apollo Crews here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. And the results of those contests see the glorious Robert Roode picking up the W over the rock star Rick Boogs plus Mustafa Ali builds momentum towards the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup this Sunday with a win over Apollo Crews. Well, the action continues here tonight in Dallas. Happy Corbin set for action. Corbin just last week took a loss to the returning Braun Strowman. Can Corbin bounce back tonight? Huge task ahead and the franchise John Cena just days before his matchup with Seth Rollins for the World Championship at the Royal Rumble. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Happy Corbin! Not only did Baron Corbin take a loss to Braun Strowman last week, but he's been dealing with issues with one Dexter Loomis. It was a couple of weeks ago in Dexter Loomis' SmackDown debut where Loomis got the win over Baron Corbin. Then he could take it back a few more weeks ago. Baron Corbin, with a rematch against Dexter Loomis, picked up the victory there. So right now, they're split one apiece. Dexter, however, distracted Corbin last week, aided Braun Strowman in the victory over Corbin. So I'm sure issues are not settled between Loomis and Corbin heading into this matchup and heading into this Sunday. But Corbin's got to stay focused, not on Dexter Loomis, but on this man, the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. He's seeking number 17. The franchise is in the house. And his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts, Weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! 16 times in an illustrious WWE career, John Cena has held World Championship gold this Sunday night in Toronto. One on one with the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. Can John Cena secure number 17? 20 years John Cena is celebrating in WWE and he's looking to kick off his 21st year a part of the World Wrestling Entertainment as the new World Heavyweight Champion. John Cena earned that right by defeating Drew McIntyre a few weeks back on SmackDown. Let's see if Cena can keep his momentum going against a man who's gonna be motivated to bounce back after his loss last week, Baron Corbin. These two men have met before inside the squared circle. Reigniting that flame tonight on Friday Night SmackDown with all roads leading to the Royal Rumble. It's been a busy night here in Dallas and still a triple threat for the United States Championship to come. But let's lock in John Cena versus Baron Corbin. Happy Corbin one on one here in Dallas. Dallas is hot and heavy for this co-main event as we are underway. Corbin and Cena right here on Friday Night SmackDown. Aaron Corbin taking the fight to the number one contender for the World Championship right now. I'm sure Seth Rollins would love for Baron Corbin to do a number on John Cena just 48 hours before Cena can test for the World Championship. Cena and Rollins have had a lot of history with each other. I've had classic matches in the past. You look back at SummerSlam 2015 being one of them. Cena and Rollins know each other well. They're gonna reignite that rivalry this Sunday night over the big gold World Heavyweight Championship. John Cena, nice big boot to Baron Corbin. Corbin goes down. Cena feeling it here tonight in Dallas. As we mentioned, Cena defeated Drew McIntyre a few weeks ago here on Friday Night SmackDown. What a physical matchup it was. Cena truly earning that victory and truly earning the number one contendership for the Royal Rumble. An event he knows very well. Cena's won the Royal Rumble twice in the past in 2008 and 2013. He's walked away from the very event as the new WWE Champion in the past. A couple of times throughout his career as well. Rumble's been very good to John Cena throughout his career. Can he do it again this Sunday night live, 5 p.m. Eastern time? We're ahead into the north in Toronto. Cena versus Rollins at the Rumble. Cena whipping Corbin off and Cena taking the fight into the corner and John Cena looking to unload on his opposer here tonight. Dallas loving what they see, but Corbin doesn't give a damn about Dallas or John Cena, looking to make sure he doesn't leave tonight with yet another loss. Again, Corbin's got to have those issues with Dexter Loomis looming in the back of his mind. They've split one apiece so far in their rivalry. Dexter Loomis taking Corbin's eye off the ball last week, aiding the victory for Braun Strowman in his return matchup to SmackDown. Corbin and Dexter Loomis are going to be looking to settle the score in the weeks to come. But right now, Corbin's got Cena in a predicament. Don't count John Cena out. For his 20-year WWE career, we've seen Cena fight with the best of them and fight back from the worst. The franchise heads to the top rope. Look at that drop in the dime on Baron Corbin. In into the cover he goes. But Corbin gets the shoulder up. John Cena not looking to take a loss. 
in the lead up to the Royal Rumble. He's got a chance to secure his 17th World Championship in his WWE career. But right now, Cena looking for the You Can't See Me, a little five knuckle shuffle on Corbin. John Cena all kinds of fired up. And into the cover he goes, not watching the ring awareness there. A rookie mistake by the veteran, you don't see it happen too often. Cena throwing Corbin into the corner, has got something else in mind. The wheels are spinning for John Cena, but Corbin says otherwise. The brawl we got on our hands between these two men tonight, Baron Corbin, look at this. Flipping Cena inside out and follows it up with a punch. And Baron Corbin may have just secured a victory here. Oh no, and a choke breaker to John Cena. Corbin into the cover. This could be an upset victory here on SmackDown, but Cena says otherwise. Cena continues to fight in this matchup. I'm sure Seth Rollins not only wants Corbin to do a number on Cena tonight, but would love to see Cena take a loss, mess with the psyche of John heading into the Royal Rumble. Cena fired up right now, bouncing back in this matchup, trying to make sure Baron Corbin's not the one to derail his momentum. Oh, look at this, Cena. Code red on Baron Corbin. Cena's looking good. And a charge at Corbin with the Luthes press. John Cena's all kinds of fired up. Baron Corbin looking to secure his spot in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup this Sunday night. A loss here isn't going to do him any good. Meanwhile, John Cena, oh, Cena could have been looking for the AA there. Corbin, wait a minute. End of days on John Cena. That's going to be all she wrote. Corbin with the victory. Not yet. Cena survives. Baron Corbin, a choke breaker a few moments ago. The end of days. Not enough to put Cena away just yet. And he misses for the clothesline as Cena sidesteps it. And John Cena showing his heart, showing his toughness and his resilience here. It would have survived Baron Corbin's best offense. Corbin's got to be questioning what it's going to take to put John Cena away tonight. Cena might just be a little bit too motivated to derail his momentum. Corbin able to survive off that belly to belly, but Cena's still got a lot of fight left in him. John Cena has locked eyes on becoming a 17-time world champion this Sunday night, and he isn't going to let anybody get in his way, whether it's Baron Corbin or the world heavyweight champion himself, the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. As Cena's hitting the ropes again, going back to the basics here, gonna look for five knuckles, shuffle, number two in this matchup. Not going for the cover, I believe Cena is locking eyes on Corbin. Attitude adjustment by the franchise. Cena is rolling towards the rumble. And AA delivers John Cena a victory tonight. But will it be what it takes to defeat the revolutionary this Sunday in Toronto when he takes on Seth freaking Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship of Friday Night SmackDown? Here is your winner, John Cena! A big win. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cena turn around, the World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins is in the ring and he's ambushing the franchise. Seth Rollins looking to do a number on John Cena ahead of the Royal Rumble, trying to make sure Cena isn't going in to Toronto 100%. An ambush by the World Champion and down goes the number one contender. Well, Rollins making a statement here tonight in Dallas. But all roads lead to this Sunday night in Toronto when the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. John Cena chases number 17. It's the franchise versus the visionary. John Cena versus Seth freaking Rollins. Another matchup from Friday Night SmackDown, the Cruiserweight Championship to be defended when the one and only Ricochet, who picked up a win earlier tonight, meets the master of the 619. For the first time in WWE, it's Ricochet and Rey Mysterio for the Cruiserweight Championship. Several matches signed for Monday Night Raw, including the World Tag Team Championship, DIY, who outlasted the Tag Team Eliminator, looked to become the champions for the first time against Dominic Dijakovic and Damian Priest. 
this Sunday at the Rumble. The Women's Tag Team Championship set to be defended as well as Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell defend the gold against the number one contenders, the Boss and Glow. Naomi and Sasha Banks look to take down the way for the Women's Tag Team Championships. It's the final meeting in a six-month storied rivalry between the Empress of Tomorrow and the Ballsy Badass. Asuka meets Shotzi one more time. The WWE Women's Championship set to be defended. Who will be the queen of the women's division? It is a no-holds-barred grudge match. The prize fighter tried to put Edge on the shelf months ago. Edge is seeking revenge this Sunday in his hometown of Toronto. It's Edge, Kevin Owens, no holds barred. And in the Raw main event for the Royal Rumble, the WWE Championship is on the line. The Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton, defends his gold against the phenomenal number one contender, AJ Styles. And of course, it is the 30-man Royal Rumble match. 15 men from Raw, 15 men from SmackDown, one golden opportunity to main event WrestleMania. Who will be the last man standing and who will be the one to win the Royal Rumble match? It is main event time here in Dallas on Friday Night SmackDown. It is a triple threat. United States Championship affair. Challenger number one, the King of Strong Style, a former United States champion in his own right, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura could easily win the United States Championship tonight and possibly win the Royal Rumble on Sunday. What's gonna go down tonight on SmackDown? The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the WWE United States Championship. Introducing the challenger from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the artist known as Shinsuke. Nakamura has won the Royal Rumble match before in 2018 in Philadelphia. This Sunday night, he's got a chance to do it again as one of 15 SmackDown superstars that'll enter the 30-man fray this Sunday night in Toronto. But tonight, Nakamura's got to remain focused on the task at hand. Not only is he in the ring with a man who's been a thorn in his side for well over a month, that being the Prince Finn Balor, but also the almighty United States champion of Bobby Lashley, and the United States Heavyweight Championship is on the line. And here comes challenger number two, the man we just spoke of, the Prince Finn Balor arrives here in Dallas on SmackDown. And introducing the challenger from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! Last time Balor and Nakamura were inside the squared circle with each other was back at the All-Star kickoff on December the 9th in Las Vegas, where Finn Balor scored the pinfall over Shinsuke Nakamura. That was a grudge matchup after over a month of issues with each other. Now tonight, they will be inside the ring with each other with an X Factor, that being Bobby Lashley, the United States Champion. But Finn Balor will also be participating in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. We spoke of Shinsuke Nakamura's 2018 victory. Balor was in that matchup as well. He kicked it off as number two in that contest and made it to the final four on that night in Philadelphia. Finn Balor very well, could be an X Factor, could be a dark horse coming up this Sunday night in Toronto. Balor owns a recent victory over Tyler Bate as well. The last time we saw him on Saturday night's main event back on December the 21st. Finn Balor's got a lot of momentum heading into this matchup and heading in to this Sunday's Royal Rumble. Is it the Prince time to capitalize? Balor's been chasing championships all year here in the WWE. He's had a couple of opportunities the WWE Championship, the Intercontinental Championship, but a new opportunity hangs in the balance, not only tonight, but this Sunday, live premiere event at 5 p.m. Eastern time as well. 
All roads lead to the Royal Rumble, but here tonight in American Airlines in Dallas, the United States Championship takes front and center. Balor and Nakamura have entered the battleground, and we await the almighty United States Champion. He took the title from Mustafa Ali on Saturday night's main event. This will be his first defense here tonight, Triple Threat Affair. And introducing the champion from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. He is the WWE United States Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley. As we mentioned, it was back on December the 21st in Columbus, Ohio on Saturday night's main event where Bobby Lashley took away the championship of Mustafa Ali, who had only held the championship for about 11 days after he originally won at the All-Star kickoff by eliminating Bobby Lashley in the eight-man battle royal. Lashley writing that wrong at Saturday night's main event. Now the United States Heavyweight Championship is around the waist of the almighty destroyer. But a huge task ahead for Lashley. It's been a rough up and down year for the almighty. Securing the United States Championship on the 21st certainly turned his luck around, but can he keep it going on his final appearance in 2023, or 2022, excuse me, here on Friday Night SmackDown? The United States Championship is on the line. It is your final pit stop before Toronto this Sunday. Balor, Nakamura, Lashley, who's leaving Dallas? the United States Heavyweight Champion of Friday Night SmackDown. That is the goal that is at stake. The challengers are set, the champion is locked in, all roads lead to the Rumble, but let's focus in on your triple threat main event that is officially underway. Nakamura immediately going after Balor, there's a score to settle there. Nakamura's gotta keep his eyes on the almighty as well. It'll be a very interesting matchup. Nakamura's got to make sure his issues with Finn Balor don't get in his way. I'm sure Balor, in his mind, has already put the King of Strong style behind him after that win at the All-Star kickoff. As for Bobby Lashley, as we mentioned, it's about keeping the good luck going after he really turned his luck around in Columbus. Saturday night's main event. Big boot to Shinsuke Nakamura. Balor comes from behind, looking to take out the champion in the early going. All three of these men will be three of the 15 SmackDown superstars, along with 15 Monday Night Raw superstars. They'll compete for an opportunity to main event WrestleMania this Sunday at the Royal Rumble. Balor taking the champion out of the ring, and we are left to a one-on-one -on -one matchup, at least for a moment here. This is the interesting thing that we always discuss in triple threat matches. The champion does not have to be involved to lose the championship here. Lashley trying to make sure that doesn't happen on his account. Gets set into the corner. Balor stacking him up like hardwood. And Lashley whipped off again, and Nakamura gets the worst of it. The United States champion out of the ring, and Balor's got the King of Strong Style in her predicament. The Prince is ruling the squared circle so far here in Dallas. Nakamura trying to turn his luck around. Nice black hole slam by Shinsuke. Well, I'm sure has got a couple of motives in this matchup. Not only walk away the United States Heavyweight Champion, but also get a victory over Finn Balor. Nakamura unloading on Balor, excuse me, unloading on Lashley. Lashley trying to make sure that Nakamura ain't building momentum off his behalf. Lashley ducking a shot from both men right there. Now goes behind, slamming the king on the canvas. And sending Nakamura right into the ropes there, into the corner, now squashing down on one of his challengers. Lashley on loading, has got to watch Finn. Comes from behind, Finn Balor. I mean, Lashley, those two men got history. Meant for the Intercontinental Championship back at WrestleMania in 2019. Balor was the better man on that night. The United States Championship, however, is the story. All three of these men have come a long way just the last few years. I mean, what a year it's been for Finn Balor. I mean, turned his back on the WWE Universe, has been chasing championship gold ever since, and it may not have gone the way of the Prince, but he seemingly always finds a way to get that new opportunity. Bobby Lashley is a WWE Champion for the first few months of 2022. That came to a screeching halt back at Backlash on April the 11th, where he lost the gold to AJ Styles. Lashley spent the 
next couple of months fighting a rivalry with Randy Orton and Matt Riddle, dealing with issues with AJ Styles on Monday Night Raw. And really, ever since coming to SmackDown in the WWE Draft, Lashley has had a new leash on his career. Shinsuke Nakamura right now unloading on Balor in the ring. What a kick to the side of the head. That's got to feel good for Shinsuke after that loss back in Las Vegas at the All-Star kickoff a few weeks ago. Nakamura to the cover, Lashley breaking it up. Shinsuke just one second away from leaving the United States champion. Grabbing a hold of Bobby Lashley here. Lashley trying to avoid disaster. And Lashley levels Nakamura with a clothesline. And we're back to Balor and the Almighty inside the squared circle while Finn Balor takes momentum. Balor looking to leave the United States champion. Imagine one of these men walking away from Dallas tonight with the United States Championship, then walking into Toronto and possibly winning the Royal Rumble matchup. It's very much a possibility. It was wait a minute, Lashley into the cover to retain the title. Balor still got fight in him, not just yet. Oh, working over. Jimmy Lashley working over Finn Balor here. Shinsuke getting squashed up in the corner. And Lashley, what a boot scrape to Nakamura. And Lashley starting to rule the squared circle last minute or so. The Almighty not looking to lose his United States Championship in his first defense. Took the championship away from Mustafa Ali after Ali's only about 10 day championship reign back at Saturday night's main event. Now Lashley picking Nakamura up, going for the press slam, but Shinsuke counters into the DDT. The absolute carnage and chaos of the triple threat matchup. One night it's been on SmackDown, John Cena securing a victory over Baron Corbin moments ago, and then of course the World Heavyweight Champion Seth freaking Rollins rearing his ugly head, laying out the franchise, building some momentum for the Rumble. Wait a minute, Lashley! Dominator on Finn Balor. And that may be all she wrote for SmackDown in Dallas tonight, but Balor gets the shoulder up in the United States Championship main event. Rolls on another moment. Balor able to survive one of Lashley's best tactics there. Now whips off Balor into Nakamura's grasp, and Nakamura takes out both men. Shinsuke's had a few moments to rest as Balor is getting worked on by Lashley. Balor's out of the equation. Nakamura's going for a knee strike, but the almighty sidestepped it. Nakamura's been the United States champion in the past. He wants to hold that gold again ahead of the Royal Rumble matchup this Sunday. Lashley trying to make sure it doesn't happen on his accord. Drops the forearm on the back of the King of Strong style. And Lashley taking a moment to observe the situation here. Nakamura's days, Balor getting back into the ring, but you gotta imagine the damage is starting to be added up here in this matchup. Lashley laid out Balor with a dominator a few weeks, or excuse me, excuse me, a few moments ago. Big boot to Nakamura delivers one of the prints. Bobby Lashley is ruling the squared circle right now. You gotta keep your eyes on Finn Balor as he takes over the United States Champion. Drop kick to the side of the head, taking Lashley out of the equation for a moment. Balor up top, Nakamura and Lashley. We got a brawl going on. Balor avoids disaster. Nakamura takes over Lashley. Bodies moving left and right in the United States Championship matchup. Nakamura into the cover. Trying to secure the U.S. gold, but Balor breaks it up. And what a main event here tonight. Dallas, Texas, the home of the final Friday night SmackDown before this Sunday night's Royal Rumble. A live premiere, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Coming to you from the Scotia Bank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The road to WrestleMania begins this Sunday night, but right now the United States Championship being defended as Balor is in the driver's seat of this matchup. Balor trying to head to the top rope, could have been looking for the coup de gras, but Lashley's got something else in mind. To avoid disaster there, and I'll just stomp it away on the Prince. And Lashley whipping Balor over the top rope. And Nakamura back in, and we're left to Lashley and one of his other challengers. Balor out of the equation. This is an opportunity here for Nakamura and Lashley to put each other away. 
Oh, down to a one-on-one -on -one match, at least for the moment. There's Finn Balor back into the ring. We'll make sure his chance to become the United States champion doesn't get passed up. Actually out of the ring, Nakamura and Balor left to a one-on-one -on -one affair here in Dallas. Dallas, Texas, the home of Shinsuke Nakamura's NXT debut back in 2016. Nakamura's got history in this town. Looking to make more history here tonight on SmackDown. Goes for the kick, Balor ducks it. Balor now, oh wait a minute. Got Nakamura up. Drops him with the suplex in the ring. But there's the champion. Goes behind on Finn Balor, could be looking for the hurt lock, but Balor's got something else in mind. Balor was able to avoid it, but you gotta believe if Lashley was able to hit that hurt lock, it would have been over with. Swing blade into the drop kick by Finn. Finn going, not to the top just yet. Nakamura trying to make sure it doesn't happen. Lashley's to his feet. Lashley goes for the clothesline, Nakamura from behind. Double under hook German by Shinsuke. Into the cover. Balor better turn around. Gonna have a huge champion, not just yet. Lashley avoids Nakamura there. Goes for the big boot. Balor able to counter. Sends the United States champion over. Balor and Nakamura reignite their flame yet again inside the squared circle. Nakamura counters. And back and forth we go here between Finn and Shinsuke. The United States champion taking his moment here. Balor 19-16 on Shinsuke Nakamura. And Bobby Lashley into the squared circle. Levels Finn with a power bomb. And the United States champion picking his moment, picking his spot to strike. And that was got his eyes locked on Shinsuke Nakamura. But Finn's back in the equation, not going down without a fight. And now Lashley. The smaller competitor above his head and just drops him on the knee. This is what being a champion is all about. The United States Championship that's been held by so many greats, so many Hall of Famers. A championship full of lineage and history being defended tonight. Shinsuke Nakamura with the King Shots on Lashley and Balor to break it up. And you gotta believe that Balor was not in the ring right there. Nakamura would have just been leaving United States Champion. A King shots to Lashley. Lashley now takes out Nakamura. Trying to go after Finn, and Finn really just saved the matchup right there. Nakamura is so close to walking out with the U.S. gold. Now Balor, swing blade on Lashley again. Drop kick again by the Prince. Lashley gets to his feet, absorbs the blow. And look at the strength from the almighty United States champion here. Letting all the blood rush to the head of one of his challengers tonight, and down goes Finn Balor. Now the beating commences by the almighty. Nakamura back into the ring, and he gets leveled by the United States champion, who's got his eyes locked on Nakamura now. Oh, no. Nakamura goes up, and he eats the canvas. Lashley into the cover. Still your United States Champion here tonight in Dallas. That was one hell of a triple threat main event. Bobby Lashley surviving not one but two challengers here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. And in his very first championship defense, Lashley retains the United States Championship. Here is your winner and still the WWE United States Champion. The almighty Bobby Lashley. Well, Lashley retains the United States Championship tonight, but all roads lead to this Sunday. Lashley, Balor, Nakamura, going to be three of 15 SmackDown superstars that enter the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup Sunday night in Toronto. It is a live premiere event. 5 p.m. Eastern time, quite possibly our biggest pay-per-view to date, the Royal Rumble. We will see you this Sunday in Toronto. Thank you, and good night from Dallas, Texas.
face on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'm a rider.